thousands of San Diegans uh, got a taste of traditional Mexican music and dance yesterday during the annual Chicano Park Day celebration. But 10 News reporter Marie, uh, Riel Creighton rather, found out frustrations are growing over a problem at that park that those people say should have been fixed a long time ago. A celebration of music, food, culture. A beautiful day for the 44th annual Chicano Park Day Festival, and surely more than a few in this giant crowd of an estimated 30,000 needed to use one of these. Ten years ago, we requested a, a, a restroom. That's the problem, says David Rico with the Park Steering Committee. He took us inside to see the bathroom he says has been out of order for a very long time. The, the drainage system here is no good. We have no soap, you have no uh, proper soap, it's disgusting in here. And no plumbing. For tens of thousands today, their options were actually outside, next door. The park's murals attract crowds year-round, and the park is set to receive a million-dollar grant. But that, says Rico, may be the only thing being flushed down the toilet. They didn't come to the community and ask, what do you guys need first? The money is solely for landscaping at the park and building things like a new playground. Chicano Park is a designated historical place. So especially here and after a decade, why they're still broken? Because the city hasn't had money to fund the infrastructure that it needs in general. City Councilman David Alvarez agrees it's an urgent need, but the fix is about $700,000. He says he's working with the council to find a less expensive solution before things get messy. I mean, if you come to a park and it doesn't have amenities, basic amenities like bathrooms, why would you want to go back? Riel Creighton, 10 News. And Riel tells us the problems with the bathrooms actually go beyond just fixing drainage and plumbing problems. They also have to be made wheelchair accessible.